Okay, in this question, first we have to state what is meant by the work done. So we know that the work done is the energy transfer. And by definition, the work done can be calculated by the force times the distance that this force is applied to. But is the distance that is moved in the direction that the force is applied to. So force times distance moved in the direction of the force. So it's very important to mention that it's on the specific direction. Then we have a car of that specific mass that is traveling on a country road with 55 miles per hour and it's giving us here what is the equivalent for meters per second and the speed limit is 30 miles per hour which is that and the force are the, the brakes are applied that um, that's applying a constant force of 3750 newtons and we need to find the distance the minimum distance that this force should be applied until the the driver brakes to to avoid exceeding the speed limit. So how are we going to approach this question? First, we need to calculate the kinetic energy before the driver applies the brake. So before braking, the kinetic energy is of course half times mass times the velocity square. If I substitute the numbers, that will be 1.5 times 10 to the power of 3 kilograms which is the mass times the velocity which is 24.6 meters per second squared so if i do these calculations this will give me 4.54 times 10 to the power of 5 joules this is the energy the kinetic energy before the application of the brakes now when the brakes are going to be applied we want the car to be on 30 miles per hour on 13.4 meters per second so after braking the kinetic energy of the car should be 1.5 times 10 to the power of 3 which is the mass times the new velocity which is 13.4 squared so the new kinetic energy after braking it should be 1.35 times 10 in the power 5. Now the difference between these two will be the work done by the braking force. So the difference in the kinetic energy will be 4.54 minus 1.35 of course times 10 to the power of 5 joules so the difference will be 3.19 times 10 to the power of 5 joules and what will be the equivalent distance that will give us a work of this amount i will just write it on this side so we know that work done equals force times distance now the work done we want it to be that and the breaking force is 3750 so we're trying to find the distance. So we'll be dividing both sides by 3750 and the distance we get, the distance that the braking force should be applied to give us this work, it's calculated to be 85.1 meters.